Broadway's NFL Draft. The Jimmy Awards honors the best of high school musical theater talent from around the country, launching the next generation of stage superstars. Now the program is celebrating 15 years with a concert starring Jimmy alumni, including Ryan McCartan and Jasmine Amy Rogers. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Listen, we've been covering the Jimmy Awards for several years now. We love the Jimmy Awards here. We get it. Mm -hmm. But for those who don't know anything about the Jimmy Awards, I, you know, tell us kind of, Ryan, tell us, because you won in 2011, mm. tell us what, what it is and why people get so excited about it. I love that you said it's like the NFL draft for musical theater, <laughs> but for us it feels like the Super Bowl game. Yeah. Um, yes, and, yes. and so essentially you have all of these regional programs that select finalists to make them eligible to go to the Jimmys, then they all go to the Jimmys, and it's this crazy intense week mm -hmm. of rehearsals, intensives, classes, and adjudication where you are being basically constantly yeah. judged <laughs> to see if you're going to end up being a finalist, and then if you are a finalist, it's, a, it's announced live at the show, and then they're like, congratulations, you have 15 minutes to show us what you got to see if you're going to be the winner, and you're on a Broadway stage, yeah. the stakes are so high, it feels like the Super Bowl. So it's like, how can you handle the pressure, really? Exactly. And Jasmine, so you were a finalist in 2017. I was, yes. And it seems like, I mean, that room is just like bursting with energy, oh, with yeah. excitement, with everything else. Describe your Jimmy's experience. It was amazing. I remember... After I did my my solo for my finalist solo, I literally walked off stage, just walked toward the little stairs that go down underneath the Minskoff stage, which is where the Lion King is, and I, my legs like gave out. I was there was so much <sighs> adrenaline that, that had built up, and that just all released at once. But it was amazing. I met so many great people that I still run into now, um, and work with now, and. It's, it was just incredible. Yeah. I feel like from now on, it's like you guys belong to a special club. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that? Because I feel like the people that get to go and experience this to begin with, mm -hmm. you all get, you, now you have this, this joint, this shared experience yes. together, and it's something you take with you for the rest of your life, I imagine. It is. Yeah. But Ryan, so you're going to be the host for yes. the 15th anniversary. What can people expect from this, this special event? I mean, it's going to be amazing. It, it, we're, we're all going to be able to spend some time celebrating celebrating the work that we've all done, uh, not only at the Jimmy's, but since, and kind of see a, a um, trajectory and a timeline of all of us, all of us winners and finalists from years gone by. Uh, as the host, I'll just kind of facilitate getting from one number to, an to another. And, <laughs> I feel like and it's the, the people, pressure's off when you're just the host. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have to, I have to <laughs> sing too, but I'll, I'll win people over with my charm. No, oh, of course but, you will. But, I mean, it'll, it'll be great. I, I actually am so excited. I'm more excited for that part, to be able yeah. to ask people questions and, and go down memory. Yeah, and, and, you, and the thing is, when you're the host, you get to highlight other people. Correct. So it's yeah. really fun to do that. Um, and speaking of, uh, performing at 54 Below is really like a rite of passage in yes. this industry. So, Jasmine, what are you going to be singing? Because I know you're performing. Yes, I'll be singing Easiest Life from Aida. It was my finalist solo, actually. Um, but this time I'll get to sing the entire song. <laughs> Just Work. a little cut, um, which will be, I'm really excited for yes yeah, yeah. well you um, are just coming hot off starring as Betty Boop yeah oh in the world premiere of the Bo of Boop the musical in mm -hmm. Chicago what was it like leading this huge Broadway bound show because <laughs> it is Broadway bound. exactly yes we are coming to Broadway in spring 2025 which is very exciting that we can say that yeah um, but it was life-changing it was so much fun and so it just was beautiful every moment I just felt like the most beautiful thing was happening to me over and over and over again, and it continues to. And the cast was so special, and Jerry is so special to me. Jerry Mitchell, who was our director and choreographer. So it was, it was amazing. Yeah. And so, Ryan, I know that you just started in the new play Lone Star this past fall, I believe it, it was. You've also done Frozen. You've done Wicked. I mean, just, just a couple of little shows, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, and you also did the cult favorite Heathers. I mean, do you see the Jimmys as being kind of the Kickstarter for your career? Girl, I was going to quit. <laughs> oh, no! I, I was going to college to, like, study English and be a teacher, which is great. <laughs> We love teachers, yeah. Yeah. but I, I, I was done. Yeah. And then I did the Jimmys because I, I got picked from my so regional program. So you thought, program. this is my last. Mm. So listen, everybody who wants to do this as a career, listen to the both of them. <laughs> do the Jimmys if you have a chance. 54 <laughs> celebrates the Jimmy Awards is set for next Monday, January 29th at 54 Below. And it will be live streamed. For tickets and more info, head to 54below.org. Thank you both for coming. Thank you. Uh,